again, everyone. It's Matt. And Chels. We have wanted more Ren. We went through all the comments. Everyone said the tale of Jenny and Screech. Not everyone. The majority of people said we really need to check that out. So that's what we're here to do. Um, I think this is a three-part song. That's the way it looks like it's broken up in the video here. Um, the last Ren video we checked out, I'm struggling to remember the name, but it was the one where it was... Suicide? Two sides of him. Oh, is that... There was Suicide. High Ren was the first one we did. High Ren. Yes. Okay, and we've done one since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there was Suicide, and now we're here for The Tale of Jenny and Screech. Congratulations to Ren, a number one album in UK. That's that's a tough feat, and that's impressive as hell and well-deserved. Um, I don't know if this is on that. But anyway, the official video link will be down below in our description box and our links are down there as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button. And here we go. I We intentionally save this as the last thing to film because Ren has a way of pulling on your heartstrings, you know? Yes. You get strategic with that shit. <laughs> We don't want tears for the next video, <laughs> just to end the session. Exactly. Just to end it. Quiet dark night in the empty street Somewhere at another city Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reached with the sheath that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame mm. Well, fuck That was an intense story. I don't even know where it's going to go from here. So that was Jenny. Uh-huh. And now we're going into Screech. Mm. So 
is this a story off of that story? Hmm. I, this is fascinating. His style just blows my mind. The way he started off with the, you know, I've never heard anyone do that in a song. And I really thought that was, that was a unique way to start it off. I like that. And then he cleared his throat and then he actually began. I thought that was a really and cool his, way to get your attention. Right. And his delivery like is so mesmerizing that it holds your attention. Absolutely. So, all right, let's get into to, uh, Screech now. I like the way he really did that. Up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed a Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Hey, babe, are you in? Now, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood as his foot free. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. I've got chills right now. Ah, oh, story, it ends right to the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Where do we go from here now? After two characters have died. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it going to be about the police officer now? I don't know. It says Violet for this chapter right there. I don't know. 
Um, I just want to talk about how genius Ren is as an artist, like the whole. I don't know how this would translate just an audio recording. The video really adds to the song and the performance, the way it's played out. Uh, the knock on the guitar transition into the knock on the door. I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really well done. The phone call. Yeah, I really appreciated the camera person getting down after the guitar shots. I just, he's so genius with the way he does it. And to talk about the guitar, the, the gunshots with the guitar, I like the way that every time he strummed it, the the camera like bounced back and then slowly dropped to the ground. It was just very well done. Um, very tragic songs, but very good storytelling. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I guess we get into Violet. I can't wait to see what's about to happen now. Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beats and bloodstains She saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind The hands of time for Violet's tale What an intro. Oh my gosh, I love how he rewinded. The genius. Silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl, and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong, and but he sure knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance Ooh, this one just gave me goosebumps Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut You fucking slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. 
that's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw when the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. He just paints such a beautiful picture with his words, and it chokes me up. It's heavy. It it's is. It's really, really heavy. I say he paints a really good picture. Obviously, it's not beautiful. It's tragic, but he does such a beautiful job at it. I see what you're saying. I, I, I know what you're trying to say. Um, he I know what it. I'm trying to say, too. He's so descriptive that you can't help but just you're in that moment. You're, Absolutely. The way he acts it out and sings. And the way he uses the atmosphere to tell the story, too, is just really, really good. Yeah. Okay. Damn. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Time the fuck out. So Jenny and Screech were brother and sister. Yeah. And he met her in the streets, not knowing this, and killed her. And then he kill got killed the same night by the police. Wow. And their mother had died tragically at the hands of their father. Like, M. Night Shyamalan couldn't even write a twist that fucking good in a movie. Holy shit. I did not see that ending coming. No, I didn't either. My mind is just fucking blown right now. That was a very, very emotional journey. Oh. He knows how to take those guitar strings and also pluck at your heart strings at the same time. Yeah. Wow. Ren is a very special artist. Um, just everything he does. I, I have mad appreciation. This was incredible. It was an incredible performance that I don't think I'm going to forget. Um, very well written. Amazing storytelling. And like you said, the way he used his atmosphere and his environment around him was really cool. I loved when he stopped in the stairwell and he used the... The echoing in the stairwell. Uh, honestly, I'm still pretty pretty emotional about the whole thing. Um, hmm. That's heavy. It was. It's fucking heavy, man. It was very tragic. Like You don't even need to know these characters. He just made you care.
care about this story. Oh, I love Ren. Yeah, as do I. This was great. It kind of looks like a young Killian Murphy to me, too. I don't know. Why. I see that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.